Hello YouTube, this is Xtreamer and I'm thinking about doing a bunch of videos teaching you guys how to make a digital controller for air suspensions on your cars like those from Acuair, Airlift and a bunch of others so to make this project uh, if or, or better if you want me to teach you the full steps on how to build one for you it's about in components it's about sixty dollars um, I'll make several videos teaching you every step and then releasing the software for the smarts for Androids and and for the chip um, Okay, so I'm going to explain real quick what's this about and if you want me to do the rest of the videos just let me know in the comment section. Okay, so to build this project you're going to need an Arduino like this, a small one, preferably a Bluetooth module, eight, eight transistors, NPN, uh, tip 120 these are good for this project diodes 8 diodes and a bunch of resistors I'll in the next video if I make it I'll tell you which resistance you guys are going to need so this is basically this will do for every type of, of air system that you have like one like it goes up and down by axle or independent to each wheel it will work on both of them on both of them so I'm going to show you really quick one that I have laid out just to show, show you guys okay I have it right here okay so this is a model of what I'm going to teach you how to build so we have power connections here 12 volts from the car battery okay negative this this side positive in this side and on this rail right here where the diodes are connected it's 12 volts positive so all the connections to the solenoids on your car need to pass through a diode because when you release the solenoid it's like a DC engine and will produce some back current that will try to flow back into your board and back into the transistor and damaging it or damaging the Arduino so if it's connected to 12 volt the current will flow back into the 12 volt system and won't go into your transistors so okay so this is a layout you can have connectors like I have here uh, for the front of the car for to go up for example two to go up front left front right up uh, front left front right down rear left rear right up and so on this connector you are going to need it because it's a manual mode I have in the software I have the software written to a manual mode so that when you don't have the smartphone or your battery runs dry or something else you can just adjust your car with buttons three buttons to be exactly uh, and those three buttons they only occupy one pin one analog pin in the Arduino so we have three buttons connected only to one pin with a bunch of resistors so that we can receive different values when you press the buttons and the Arduino will get things going so we have here a step down converter this step down as I, as I told you 12 volts go in here everything is 12 volts positive in this side here on the transistors is 12 volt negative or just negative because we need to share the negative to the, the ground connection with everything so here we have a step down 
which receives the 12 volt from the battery and makes it 5 volts. So these two wires here, these two orange wires, are plus 5 volts. So we have one going to the buttons and we have another one going to the Arduino unit. Okay, so we cannot mix these things, this the these cables plus five with the plus twelve here. Uh, okay, so this is very simple. What you need to do is you need to address eight digital pins in the Arduino to each transistor. So let's give an example: digital pin ten. It will activate this transistor that will go through here, it will connect to the diode and to the connector and will make, for example, front, left, up, okay? So digital pin 10 is front, left, up and this one next we can put it, for example, digital pin 11, uh, front, left, down. Okay, so when you, you activate one, the front left will go up, this one, the front left will go down, and yada, yada, yada. As you can see, he must have resistors in, uh, in, the, in before you cannot connect the Arduino directly to the transistor, you must have a resistor there. So, I'm going to show you. This is the transistor. Okay, so this pin here must be connected to ground. As you can see, they are all connected like so, and this pin is shared, it's like a rail here in the board, and they are all connected to the same ground. Here, this green cable brings the ground connection to all the transistors, and this middle one, it's where you're going to connect this yellow wire to the diode and to the connector. The left pin, this pin, is connected to the resistor and then to the Arduino digital pin that you have assigned for that. This code is also ready, I have just one here, but uh, it's also ready to receive analog reads from a sensor like those from airlift and AccuAir so you can know your wheel height from from the up and down so you can have um, so that you can have memory positions of your right height so let me show you in the end how you can make this is a simple box you can buy for house ele uh, electric it's waterproof and everything it's a cheap box this is just to show you how you can build one I just chose this one because why not it was on sale so here you have the buttons that I told you about so with when you don't have uh, the Bluetooth connection you just press one button and for the front axle will go up the front axle will go down then you select in the middle and now you are using the rear axle up and the rear axle down press again front axle so we have our power connections here 12 volts plus and minus uh, here we have front left up front left down front right up front right down and so on or uh, this is back this is front okay so you know where I'm going with this Inside the box, you have a beefier DC step-down unit to, fly to 5 volts to power the Arduino and the Bluetooth module. We have a fuse holder with a fuse, a small fuse. We want to protect the Arduino for, for, uh, from everything. Here we have the button with the resistors so that we can use only the analog pin, only one analog pin in the Arduino instead of using three pins to make three different readouts. And here inside the box is a, a slightly different 
because I chose to use only the, the Arduino Uno chip with a socket on it, a crystal, some condensers. Here I have the, the soldering part so that I can upload sketches directly without needing to open the box. The Bluetooth module will connect here, like so. As you can see, um, here we have the transistors. Same rule applies. This pin, the pins on this side are all connected to ground, but I have to put the 12 volt plus passing here and passing here so that I can connect these diodes to the 12 volt. I have put some LEDs that you can put also to debugging so that you can uh, mess around with the code and see which one is exactly doing what. And it's pretty simple. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty simple. So if you guys want me to show you how to build this thing and not spend like, I don't know how much it is in your country, but it's a lot, a lot of money to make a digital controller for your air, air suspension instead of using just a button to go up and button to go down. I have the full code. I was going to try I was going to try to release this thing to the market, but I couldn't find someone with the expertise or that want to finance this, so I gave up and I'm going to make it open source so that you guys can build it at, a, at home or if you want I can build a a board like this like this one that I show you and I can send you and you just connect it to your car and go this works with all types like if you have just the front axle going up and the rear axle if you have only four solenoids you just need to connect for example rear axle up rear axle down you just need to connect to each one of these and the other the front axle you just need to connect the up in each one of the ups and each one of the downs and it will work it will work with a smartphone also so let me know if you are interested in learning this i will make a project page teaching every step uh, through the building process and through the code and I'm also going to make a video of it but only if you guys want me to make a video so let me know in the comments what you want or if you prefer a video or just uh, the simple instructions on instructables or something okay thank you very much